Welcome to the show. Welcome to Inside Fighting. I'm glad to have you here. Introducing the reigning, defending, Inside Fighting host, Bobby Sid Mark. The first question. Uh, so just wanted to know, what have you been up to since your last fight with Hakeem? Okay. Uh, after the fight uh, against the Wardle, I'm starting my training uh, next day. You know, I'm preparing my next fight, but uh, I thought uh, next fight will be in October. In early October. Yeah, I remember you saying after your uh, your last fight, you wanted a, a quick turnaround. Uh, so hopefully they get to get you opponent uh, real quickly. So for those who don't know, how long have you been training in the U.S. now full time? Um, to totally um, I stay in America six months. Nice. Have you? How do you like it so far? I like uh, training camp here. Uh, I have uh, you know, uh, uh, many friends, new friends in America. I like it. I like uh, this. Uh, I like uh, these conditions. Everything. I like Miami. Awesome. Something else uh, I don't think a lot of uh, MMA fans know is that you actually have a degree in computer programming and law. And I wanted to know, is this something that you're, you're still interested in or you've put this uh, completely to the side while you're focusing on your MMA career? Yeah, I'm focused only on MMA main, main goal. Maybe after, after, after my career, when I take belt, maybe I'm searching, you know, uh, something another now yeah. I'm on the train. sure it is it's a great education to, to fall back on as well too um so get back to uh to fighting you've had five fights in the ufc now what one of those fights would you say was your toughest one like always you know um uh, harder uh, fight is next fight what i did is not problem i'm win it's good next fight is uh like always, hard fight. It makes sense. And, and one of the things uh, I think uh, uh, that's common with a lot of Russian fighters is how mentally uh, uh, strong they are. So I, I was wondering, do you have anything, like what goes through your head in the locker room before a fight? Do you get nervous? Uh, any rituals that you have? Or what's your routine in the locker room before coming out to fight? No, you know, uh, I'm not nervous before fight. Uh, this is my job. I like this job. Uh, I uh, I'm nervous only on training. You no, know, when I can't uh, do one hundred percent, I'm nervous. When I when everything good, when I did a lot of training, I I'm feel I feel very good myself uh, mentally, uh, physically, everything. Good stuff. And now with uh, there's been a lot of drama with the Ultimate Fighter and uh, and the title fight coming up in the featherweight. Uh, division. Um, what are your thoughts on the Ortega and Volkanovski fight, and who do you think is is going to take that one? Ortega is good, but uh, I think uh, uh, Volkanovski is win. You like his approach? Approach? You like his approach? Yeah. He likes his approach to Volkanovski's approach. He's how he guy. prepares for his fight. But I think I think Ortega is gonna. Yeah, he's my my brother, my translator. But but most are your lawyer. As soon as he gets his hands on either one of them, it's, it's gonna be game over. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't surprise. Most are says he knows how to defeat either one of them, right? You know? Yeah. So you have no preference on on who you'd like to fight. You would you would either one of them. You see a way to beat them. Okay, of course. I need just you know for me, Mara just that belt. It's my my goal. But you know, I don't like MMA. I'm not, uh, I'm not fan of this sport. I'm not fan of this sport. I don't like to watch uh, fights. Uh, I, I I don't know many uh, many fighters. I like just training. Uh, I like uh, when I when I when I do fights. But I don't like watch this sport. This is just my job, you know for for make make money yeah it's funny because you see and it's somewhat 50 50 some ufc fighters are huge uh fans of the sport and other ones really don't watch it uh that much at all so it's really interesting to get the the different sides now you you said after your last fight you got right back into training and one of the things i like to ask fighters you guys 
you know, you're obviously a, a physical specimen and a lot of people are interested in what your diet looks like uh, leading up to a fight. Um, so like, what is an average breakfast, lunch, uh, uh, dinner for mobs are? Uh, you know, uh, I like, uh, uh, healthy, healthy. Yeah, I, I like a healthy food. I don't like burgers, uh, you know, uh, soda, uh, everything uh, I don't like. I like healthy food. What's your favorite breakfast? Uh, favorite, maybe oatmeal with, uh, with peanut butter, uh, with uh, blueberry, strawberry. How about lunch? Yeah. Uh, lunch, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I like chicken, but uh, bo boiled chicken, you know? Boiled, yeah. yeah. How about dinner? Uh, no. Same. Everything. Everything. <laughs> I, I like fish. I like you know sushi i like Ch chinese Chin chinese uh cookie Cook? yeah chinese cuisine yeah i like chinese cuisine i like when you know uh spicy and flavor no thank you and uh in, in training camp so how many times do you uh are, are you training a day in a week is it two three times every day you no know? but uh, uh sunday is what Sunday? Uh, Saturday. Saturday. But Saturday, I did only one training and one sauna. Oh, so seven days a week you train? Uh, six. No, uh, six. Um, uh, Sunday, uh, every Sunday, I'm just relaxed, you know. And what do you, uh, what do you weigh? What is your walk around weight normally? And what do you weigh roughly come fight time, like on fight night? 155. Yeah. 155, 162, I heard. One, 155, 160. I like, I like, maybe like, maybe like, maybe like six, six kilo after winnings. And now what, uh, if you had any dream fight, whether it was a, a current, uh, past fighter, retired, different weight class, what would your dream fight be? Fight to fight, maybe. And I don't know. Uh, uh, but well, Janowski is uh, no so interesting fighter. He, he he's like me, you know, uh, hum, humble. Uh, just just make he, he, his job. Uh, I need you know uh, good names like a uh, corner. Uh, uh, maybe uh, my dream fight uh, uh, this moment is uh, Holloway, Max Holloway. Because he, he, he's number one, uh, by the way. It, it's going to be a very good fight. He, he, he has a very good defense, wrestling defense, but... He's never faced a wrestler, a fighter. He's, the, he's never faced somebody like Mozart, you know, a fighter, a wrestler, all around skill set like Mozart, ever, yeah. ever. I want to do it. He, in five rounds. Max is a special guy. He had a crazy uh, yeah. second fight with Volkanovski. I thought he won both fights. You know, yeah, I would say I, I definitely the second one. I thought I thought he won. That was a that was an interesting decision. But it it's MMA, so it's uh, it's always tough. You never know what the judges are going to do. They're the least experienced uh, uh, there. Yeah, Volkanovski experienced that with Nick Lentz when one judge gave Nick Lentz a 29-28. Yeah, that that was crazy, and he spent you know half the fight on his back. That was that was pretty crazy. Um, now, uh, after you win, since you're undefeated still, who's who's the first call you're you're making back home after a win? After the last fight, uh, I'm speaking with my brother in, from Kazakhstan. You know, uh, Timurland Zaurov, my uh, neighbor neighbor brother. After the fight, I'm uh, speak with him. Now I know you said you're, you're not a huge fan of the sport, but was there anybody you looked up to uh, when initially getting into it? Maybe you know Fedor was probably in his prime when you were younger. What what made you uh, decide to get into MMA? Uh, you know uh, when I did uh, my first fight, uh, one thirty five. Uh, uh, this time, uh, the champ was yeah, the, the champ was TJ Dillashaw. You know, uh, this moment, my uh, uh, dream dreams fight, it, it, it was uh, 
uh, fight against TJ dealership. But now I'm 145. It's uh, not interesting now. Yeah, TJ just had a great fight. Uh, yeah, to come I back. like you know uh, when when I uh, when I started, I I like uh, GSP. Uh, also, John Jones. Very, I I think John Jones is a much better fighter. And, uh, also, Habib Nurmagomedov, my brother, is very good fighter. Number one. Uh, lightweight division. He he still uh, number one, I think. Now those guys. Uh, yeah. You know, it is another level. Nobody uh, can uh, fight, defeat him. Yeah, it seems the. Uh, I mean, you guys have all. Rush has always had a, a ton of incredible fighters, but you seem you guys. Uh, are really dominating a lot of weight class and not just, you know, uh, uh, champions, but you guys have a lot of top contenders uh, coming on, especially in the lighter weight classes, even light heavyweight though, too. You guys, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty impressive. I guess we don't wrestle bears or anything growing up in the rest of the world. So <laughs> it's a, uh, it's pretty, pretty crazy to see. Uh, yeah. This is just a joke. Nobody, uh, no rest, uh, no rest with uh, bears. bears, you know, it's just a joke. For, for, for fans. For sure. It's like Canadians yeah. still live in uh, igloos. It's the same. Yeah. Be, be, you know, be, bears, uh, uh, bears, don't have, bears don't have the level to fight with uh, Russians. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Okay, cool. So you kind of answered my next question, which was uh, your favorite fight uh, to watch. I know you don't watch them a lot, but you said George St. Pierre and John Jones were fighters you watched uh, growing up. Very rarely. Yeah, uh, I'm. Um, I'm always uh, like watch GSP fights. You know, uh, my favorite fight uh, it, it, uh, Jose Aldo against uh, Chet Mendes. You know, uh, second fight, very good fight. I like. Uh, um, you pick smart fight, You rewatch it. I rewatch it uh, all time. You know. Also, I like uh, fight Barboza against um, Melendez. Very good fight, if you remember. Yeah, it's five, six years or something. And like, yeah, great fight. Barboza has a lot of great ones. Yeah. You know, uh, before uh, before uh, you say that, uh, fights uh, before you saw it. Yeah, before you saw it. The fight, fights were more interesting. Yeah, we all miss uh, Vitor Belfort pre Usada. He he might be might be coming back with yeah. the Oscar's fight. That's it. That's a dangerous fight. Are you boxing? Are you going to be watching Oscar and uh, and Vitor Belfort? No, uh, no, I, I don't like boxing. You know. Yeah. I don't like any sports. I like just uh, just do training. Yeah, testing yourself. No. So, I so like TV show, uh, maybe serials, Netflix, everything, but not sports. So if you're not into sport, what, what hobbies do you enjoy uh, outside of training? Like, what, what are some things you get up to? He likes to draw. He's, he's a very good artist, drawing-wise. Uh, yeah, you yeah, should design stuff. He's into design. Maybe after the career. Uh, uh, he's I've built several homes in his his motherland and he likes to pick out the interiors himself and the design yeah. himself amazing so architectural and, and interior design yeah, yeah. yeah everything you like it's so difficult I, you got I, I law, very good of architecture after, after, wants, my career. after his career he wants to be an architect that's amazing well i mean you yeah that's crazy to go you know programming Programming and, and, and law are, are difficult, and so is engineering. You want to get into architecture. I mean, I don't doubt it. You have the you have the mind for it. That's for sure. That's cool. That's really cool. Thank you. Uh, what what is your? I got two more for you. And uh, so you said you like shows and movies. What what is your favorite movie then of all time? Uh, favorite movie? No, uh, I like uh, Marvel's movies. Uh, um, Marvel. Yeah, but uh, my favorite movie is. Teleport. Oh, teleport? Yeah. Uh, the teleport? I forgot what it's yeah. called. 
2003 года. В 2003 году был фильм в русском, они называли его «Телепортер» или что-то такое. Мы должны понять, какой он имеет в виду, но он очень большой фан Марвел. Was it a, an American movie that was dubbed, or was it a Russian Russian based movie? No, it was an American movie that was dubbed. Yeah, Jumper. Jumper, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, Jumper. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, my super my That's the, that's his dream. Like, if he had a superpower or whatnot, he would want to be like Jumper. Go through history. Did he go through history? Was yeah, it? I don't like you yeah. know flies. Yeah. <laughs> Just jump into different history. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And where, I mean, you, you, you know, already you're, you're able to compete with the best in the world. You're undefeated, obviously extremely confident. Where do you see yourself in the next year, uh, in a few fights? Where would you like to be? I need two more years for, for a golden belt, but it doesn't matter who my next opponent. Or it's dangerous, bro. <laughs> it doesn't. Everyone's safe right now. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think I need four, maximum five fights before that belt. Uh, my main goal is to belt. I don't know. But maybe after, when, when I take this belt, maybe I, 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 I do very good man, uh, money fight, maybe against Connor if, if he, <laughs> if he survives that long yeah yeah and then we got uh well and Nate, like you said holloway uh that would be i mean that that'd be an incredible fight that'd be a lot of fun to see as well too okay man that's also awesome. champion before 30 is what i'm hearing for 30 yeah champion for 30 yeah so two three years you still got a few years left sure amazing man Masrar, thank thank you so much for the time. I I appreciate thank it. You. I was excited to get on this. I've been Good watching you. you entered the UFC. So, uh, man, I'll be cheering yeah. for you, and I'm, I'm excited to hopefully get your ne next fight book soon. He's asking where are you located? Uh, right now, I'm I'm actually in uh, Los Angeles, but typically uh, we're I'm in oh. uh, Ontario, Canada. We're just I'm avoiding the lockdowns a little bit, so I've been in the states for the past nice. little while. <laughs> nice little office you got back there. Yeah, my, my wife picked it out. Yeah, it's uh, her place. We we're staying um, here. So she found this. And uh, and yeah, that's it. I actually tried to get back in the country um, yesterday, but I, I had lost my permanent resident card. So uh, yeah, they're being, they're being, yeah, they're being super strict oh. right now and not uh, not letting me. So I'm, I mean, stuck in L.A., I can't complain, but, you know, it's yeah. uh, it, it's different up there right now. So times are a little different. <laughs> Yeah, listen, appreciate it. And, thank, and, you. Uh, thank you for excited. your interview. Robert, who's your favorite featherweight? Ooh, uh, Mazar. Obviously. Me. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Obviously, thank you. obviously. Uh, and, then, and then besides that, like I said, similar to him, I, I liked uh, I liked Holloway back in the in the day. He was awesome, man. Just so exciting. I was really looking forward. When I defeat uh, him, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you one more time. I will, it, it, yeah, the next fight camp, I'll have, have you on for another interview. It'd be great. And uh, I'll be there. If you guys are fighting, I'll be there. So, obviously, I'm a big always, fan. Of there. I'm there a lot. Were so. you in Arizona? Were you in Arizona the last time? No, I was at the, the Connor and, and Poye fight. Uh, oh, okay. Wasn't wasn't in uh, Arizona. I generally go to a few few events a year. So, good. All right. Well, we look, forward, we look forward to meeting you at the next one. Same with you guys. Cheers. Have a great day. Oh, See you again. Thank Take you. Care.